We can do oil change on this beast. Uh, let's see, it has... Oh, uh, 526 hours. Um, I don't think it was ever changed, but in the manual, um, maintenance manual, uh, 500 hours since the oil change. So, let's get that going. It's fairly easy. Uh, it's nothing crazy. Let me show you. What we have here is uh, Global Companies Technology Corporation. I don't know, I think it's a Toyota somewhere. Anyway, so it's a four cylinder engine. Very, very easy. Uh, small engine, uh, fuel injected, uh, has a, a spark plug, a coil on plug ignition, you know, runs on uh, LPG or gas. It's right here, switch door. And right over there is the oil filter. The oil drain should be here or the other side. Um, so I will check when we get under. But let's do the oil filter first because that's the easy part. Okay. This and this. Uh, and that. It's hard to do with one hand. I need to figure out a new setup. Always there's lots of dread. supposed to be. There you go, and it comes up. Here you go. The old filter. Uh, it has absolutely no labels. So let's see if the new filter works. Because it's a little bit different. Looks like the gasket is correct size. The gasket is correct size and the thread is correct size. Yeah, the gas the gasket is good. Uh, there's no label on what thread. This has a three quarter thread. Hopefully it works. So let's see. Attached. So attached it. So it's oiled. So don't worry about that part. The wire is <laughs> in the way. Okay, I need two hands for this. Okay, okay, neither one hand but more concentration. So the filter is threading. There you go. Typically, it's a good idea to write. Uh, When the filter was changed, just enjoy the view of my arm. There you go. Now it's touched, and at this point, we need to turn it. Another, let's have a turn. Filters on. So the one I got is R85394. Uh, it smells good actually. It doesn't smell like it's uh, pads do too much. Which is nice. Alright. Next thing, we need to get under there to find the drain. That's gonna be the next thing. And by the way, I use this, my trusty wrench. Um, it works well. Just grab it and squeeze it and it crushes the filter and it just comes up. That's all it takes. But in here, there's a bunch of wiring harness right there. So it's in the way of the, of the filter. So you can see it's been shaved in the back side a little bit. Right, let's get under there. Alright, oh wait, so 
Get the fuel wrenches. Let's see what it is. A Euro 14. Yeah, it looks like it. Double check. It's not 13. Nope. It is indeed 14. There you go. Oh. That was easy. Let me get that out. So, easy trick. As I unscrew it, this is the last thread. Just apply pressure and then pull it out. And that's it. It is black, that's for sure, but uh, you know, it's used. Since I think this unit was purchased in 2016 or 2018, so there's good chances it has not been changed since now. 2023. I like it to leave it so it drips out well. Um, I just put a little Teflon tape on the threads always. No, well, not always, but I just started uh, a few years ago. Seems to work well. You could replace a crush washer. I don't have any on me. So, and I'm not gonna go just start to buy it. <laughs> That's just a waste of time. So, just a little Teflon tape. That's all it takes. Uh, first few threads, make sure you don't get any. Otherwise, the straight plugs will not engage. There you go. Yeah, yeah, and I know, Teflon tape, oil, blah, 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 but do I look like a person who cares? Let's snug it up so that the next person will have to use a breaker bar to take it off. And that's it. Now, let's tap it off. oil it can take. Looks pretty clean inside so that's good. So I'm just using um, casserole edge 
10W30 advanced full synthetic motor oil. I think that's what take. I think that's what it's rated for. But I don't know how much it needs to go there. That's the problem. There you go. And off it goes. Bloop, 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 bloop. Based on how much oil came out, it's going to take a lot of oil. So we need to get more. I have some extra. So let's see. It also could have been overfilled before, so. And it looks like dirty oil already coming out of the caster, but I guess that's what it is, so it's fine. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> guess it's not a race engine. It doesn't drain oil that well. <laughs> oh boy. That's a big spillage. Whoopsie daisy. Don't go too fast. Right. That's uh, five quarts. Let's see. Let it come down. Let me clean up a little bit. As you know, oil doesn't really evaporate, so it's going to be there forever. To be honest, this is just... Uh, it was probably carbureted with a distributor engine. Uh, push rod. It's a push rod. Not even cross flow. So they just modernized it. Which makes sense, and is it? If it works, it works, you know? Oops. Damn that. So it has a multi layer head gasket, just so you know. Curious. Wow, okay. <laughs> so before it was way overfilled. Check again. Yeah, so we're gonna need to drain some oil out. <laughs> and then there you go, that's how you mess up. So let's, I need to empty the old oil, so I can refill the thing. That was before we go too far. A quart too much. So this thing takes about four quarts and not five quarts. So and it had like seven quarts in it. So let's see. Alright, the last thing for oil change. Because I don't know if I'm gonna be here. 
for the next five years, whatever. See you. Oil change. Uh, 526 hour. On uh, today is uh, six. Oh no, seven. Three. Twenty-three. Whichever next schmuck will know uh, when the oil was changed. So, if there's any question, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, just so you know, it took roughly three and a half to four quarts of oil. That's how much it should be. It was like six quarts of it in it, so it was way overfilled, like by a lot. So, there you go. Plus, whatever I spilled, so you know, a significant amount of oil was there before the right amount was added so yep